Today I'm going to try and catch the good weather and stain the raised garden bed. The stain is meant to uh, try and protect and keep the timber in good condition. Um, it's already starting to crack because of the sun. So I had the choice between oiling the timber or staining it. Um, in terms of looks, I really like how uh, the oil timber looks because you can see the natural wood grain. this artificial coating so it just doesn't look quite as nice however if you oiled it you'd have to re-oil annually it's a lot of work and with staining I can get away with maybe three years before I have to reapply so you know your girl here she doesn't want to spend time doing so much chores um, so she went with the easy road so let's see how it looks got to clean it first because uh, ah, look at those birds they're just uh, pooping all over it you know but you can see here it's only tiny but it's starting to crack already so you see those cracks they get bigger when it gets really hot and sunny when it dries and then they kind of close up when it gets wet if it keeps doing that day in day out over time that crack's gonna get very deep. The stain would seep into them and then they would just prevent the timber from going through those cycles. So before I stain it, really easy, just got to make sure the surface of the timber is clean and I've just got some dishwashing detergent mixed with some water and I'll go over and give it a good scrub and rinse it. You know, after I've washed it, it rains. I was looking online uh, as to reasons why we can't really have rain immediately after you've stained the timber. Um, and the reason's because when you've applied the stain, the timber actually absorbs the stain. In and if you have rain, the water's going to dilute the stain and when the stain's fully dried, you're gonna get um, patches. So it's not gonna work and it, it, it's not gonna protect your timber fully. I think I'm gonna give this another try today. The sun's been out and um, you can see the clouds are all going that way. And if we look directly where it's coming from, blue sky so I think we're good okay so this is the stain I'm using resin woodsman penetrating oil stain and um, I've just got a paddle make sure I get it well mixed and in the brush that's all I need
done and now that it's dry I can see these brush marks you see like how that is there's an overlap join there um, that's because I haven't maintained a wet edge so you're supposed to always keep that wet and spread it so that you don't have like you know this is a distinct two layer almost I only know knew this was a problem this morning when I saw it and you could actually use um, mineral turps to set it down and then reapply I don't really have that so I'm gonna try sanding it down to try and get it to um, a similar layer so it's all around the edges here also it was quite hot yesterday in the sun so I guess it dried really quickly I wasn't able to spread it out right I'm gonna try sanding Better, <laughs> 